What's up, gamers? It's your boy. Are we live? It, yeah. Is it? Is it now? <laughs> it's now. Yeah, I was doing the gamers intro. Oh, wait. Do it again. Okay. What's up, gamers? It's what? your boy. Hi. I'm uh, a gamer. Do, uh, spicy banana friend. Coming at you on the live stream. I'm going to be screaming so loud today. Oh, heck yeah. At every jump scare in this stream. Are it's going to be a spooky, spooky one. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to scream nonetheless. I'm going to scream either way. I'm going to do, do some spooky drawings. Wow, we're... And then are we... Oh, we're on, we're on the screen. So I can say that the thumbnail is going to be me like in the corner like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good... Why haven't we done a, a thumbnail where it's you in the corner like that? Yeah. Oh, you want to turn that light on? We usually have the lights on. We should um, have our yeah. faces photoshopped into weird uh, positions in more of our thumbnails. I think. Yeah, I think that'd be. I think that'd be good. Also, we should just draw the little Among Us guys in our thumbnails. Yeah, because people like those that. people love those. People love those, but also, you know, for the emoji challenge, we really missed an opportunity to just make our faces into emojis. Like, yeah. Oh, that would have been good too. Okay. Well, I, do it. I think a lot of people see our videos and they're like, I would click to watch this, but nobody's telling me facially what sort of emotion I'll experience yeah. when I go and that's, in. So I'm too afraid. It's a big commitment to click a thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you got to know, like, if it's going to be like a happy one or like a scary one or a sad one. Yeah. Nathan, do you want to be drawing where people can see? Yeah, I was just I was just making a mug. Um, I guess did I can you allow screen share. No, of course I didn't. I did it. Now it's allowed. I did it for you. This is the mug I drew. Oh, can you make it on full screen so I can still see the chat? What's up, chat? Yeah. You did it. I did it. I did a click. I did a Thanks click. Thanks for being a patron. Yeah. Yeah. Or for watching the VOD in the future. Either way, thanks for being here with us. Something and back again. <laughs> I don't remember any more of that song. You don't need to. It's perfect. But thank you for being a friend part is the only part that's really, yeah. I think, important. Yeah. And if I threw a party. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's part of it. That's a good part too. That's the yeah. other good part. I yeah. Should probably, oh. But oh. I don't. I don't remember what they say will happen if they threw a party. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. I was going to write in the Discord a little reminder for people to watch, but Jamie just did it. You don't even have to. Jamie. Jamie, Jamie just does that. Jamie just do that. Jamie's a, a good mod. Yeah. All the mods are good mods. Yeah. We love them. Um, what should Nathan draw? Yeah, what should Nathan draw? We got we you got two full hours coming your way. Of yeah, us drawing of us drawing whatever you tell whatever us. Whatever you want, it's for you. I want this is... I want some Halloween. Yeah, it's it's I almost been feeling time. Halloweeny. It's you know. Well, you're definitely a weenie. Hey. It's been it's been wow. unseasonably warm. It, it was a, like it's yeah. It was cool. It was very cool, and I would say cold. For like the beginning oh, of October, oh, hello. <laughs> and now it's summer again, and I yeah, don't summer again now. I don't love it. The winter has passed, and we move into another summer. Yeah, we yeah, and it's like the whole year's been summer. scary, like too real scary. Nathan, do you want to draw? Here's some things you could draw. Yeah, tell me. Halloween Pikachu, something oh. with too many bones. Halloween Pikachu. A swamp witch. I think you already have Nathan. With Jacob Halloween Pikachu. Nathan's already in. Create Halloween a new candy. Pikachu. Please draw a goth lizard. Halloween. Veggie monsters. Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween Pikachu. Nathan, your camera's in such a way that you're like, I you just, look like a Sasquatch. Your your chair <laughs> is is the sponsored part yeah. of the video. Secret lab. Yeah, when you draw, you are invisible. What are you doing, Julia? Get get your fake camera out of there. There we go. I did it. There we go. I did it. How's everybody doing on this fine Friday? 
Guys, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street for the first time last night with Jacob. Um, it's a fun one. It's it's very silly. Yeah, it's I really silly, it. but it had a lot of good practical effects in it. Yeah, the practical effects are phenomenal. The writing is silly as hell. The acting, very silly. Very bad. Very silly, very bad. Yeah, Mo S said Fountain of Blood. Fountain of Blood is so good. The, the best part is definitely still Johnny Depp getting sucked down into a mattress and then <laughs> an absolute torrent of blood spraying up out of the mat more blood than could be in any one person by a large margin yeah my favorite part was probably um where the guy wakes up because his girlfriend is flailing in bed after she's been flailing for quite a while this man was in a deep sleep yeah and he pulls the 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 sheets off of her and she gets the three cuts in her and then she gets launched into the air and he's going Who's doing that? Who's, who's doing there? It? Hey, who's there? But she's he's like, like on the ceiling. Yeah, and she's like getting flung around the room and there's just like blood going everywhere. And he's just like, who is that? Anyway, it's great. Halloween Pikachu. Halloween Pikachu. There's also a really good line where one of the girls in it says, who do you think you are, whoever you are? <laughs> Because someone's been tapping on her window and she goes to investigate and she sees that there's a crack in the window. And she just very calmly says, who do you think you are? Whoever you are. Whoever you are. That's and good she, writing. And she walks away. It's great. Good movie. Yeah, the first nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. The original 1984 classic film. <laughs> Julia watching Jacob get exploded on the ceiling. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm seeing some people saying that they are voting or have voted. Oh, heck yeah. Or are planning on voting this weekend. I'm going to vote this weekend. Good work, team. Good work, er team. Early voting in New York starts this weekend. Yeah, we're going to go. Yeah. We're going to go early vote or drop our thing off in a box if it's too crazy gonna do one of those things one of those things one of those things everyone vote please everyone don't don't think that you can miss out because you're just one person if everyone yeah. starts thinking that then no one's gonna be voting that's the that's the classic the classic dodge you just gotta do it you know it's like every time where I'm waiting for someone to show up at my house because I'm like waiting for one of my friends to come over and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I really got to pee, but I don't want to like, the, the second I go to go pee, they're going to be there. And then I just wind up waiting for like half an hour and then I get a text from my friend that's like, hey, I'm leaving now. And I'm like, come it's, on. it's exactly like that. It's exactly like that. A yeah. perfect metaphor. Yeah. Flawless. Yeah. In content and execution. Yeah. Halloween Pikachu. Halloween hey, Pikachu. What are we drawing? This is a Halloween Pikachu. Said? Nathan, why don't you tell me a little something about this Halloween Pikachu you're working on? Well, please. obviously it's wearing a, a costume. Yes. Uh, some sort of a, a costume that a, that a Pokemon might wear. Hey, Nathan, Charles Farm says, hey, Nathan, you are an awesome Peggy. Oh, thank you. That was a fun stream last night. Yeah, how'd it go? I didn't I didn't watch. It was pretty good. We got I mean, here's the thing. Carolyn's Bobby Hill voice is uncannily good. Oh, I I, ima I can imagine how good it would be in my brain because she already does a voice kind of like Bobby Hill sometimes just for fun. Yeah. Carolyn's very funny. Who was Hank? Eli? Eli was Hank and Tony is a re does a really good Dale. <laughs> I can imagine that too. So Pikachu has dressed up as Mimikyu. That seems offensive. Well, Mimikyu already dressed up like Pikachu. So you, you have Pikachu wearing a Pikachu costume. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Pikachu dressed as a as a poorly made Pikachu costume. Yes. But then on the inside is just Pikachu. Yes. That's it's offensive. Ho it's, ho it's not. It's Halloween. It's offensive to Mimikyu's. No, it's not. They're already trying to be Pikachu. 
and yeah. they can't be ever because they're dead. Uh huh. And then this real Pikachu comes along, making a joke about a Mimikyu, making a fun Halloween joke. Well, I mean, this is the this is the discourse I was hoping we would get into <laughs> on this episode. So, Nathan, it's In, time to get real. Yeah, it's time to get serious. I like this Halloween Pikachu. I think it's a pretty good. They made their costume a little bit too small. Yeah, you can see a lot of the Pikachu underneath. Well, that's how you can tell it's not just a Mimikyu. This Pikachu might have just taken this from a Mimikyu, which is even worse. Yeah. It's the discourse, Nathan. It's it is. Stop ignoring the discourse. I'm I'm done though with this drawing. Oh, okay. Oh. It's very cute. Yeah, it's good. I think you did a very good job. Does Thank that mean you. it's time for me? Or Jacob, do you want to go first? You're sitting there. You wanted that spot. I didn't, though. You demanded. <laughs> you made demands of me. I didn't. I, didn't. I should probably scoot over so you can Yeah, please. Some room with which to draw. We're going to share our screen. Yeah. With everybody. With everybody. This one. So everyone can see. What? I was going to say, if, really if you're watching the VOD... Uh, it's too late to vote now. Oh dang, you missed oh, it. Dang. And uh, I hope you weren't waiting for us. And to we vote. know, and we know the results. So we either sound like we have helped, or it, or it was all for nothing anyway. So that's fun. That's fun for the future. It's gonna go. Everything's gonna go the way we want it to. Yeah, because because we vote. Ev because everyone's gonna vote. Yeah. I mean, the voter turnout rates are already way higher this year than they There's were in There's a lot of people saying you're looking good today, Nathan. Oh, thank you. I've seen it multiple times in chat now. People saying they like your hair. Oh. People saying they like your look. Oh. Well, thanks. So keep doing what you're I doing. Can't, I can't see you, but I am I assume you, you are all looking great, too. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's look is on point. Yeah. Digiella just told me to do a background in the style of over the garden wall. You just want me to do a whole ass painting. Oh, that's that'll take up most of the stream. Let's do that. <laughs> Jacob and I will just hang out and chat and yeah, can Julia. Can, it'll be like uh, yesterday's Twitch stream Redux where Julia was just a very good gamer and I just got to hang out and chat. I heard when Julia took down Hades live on stream. <clears throat> And with a successful Hades run live. Yeah, that was that was cool. That ain't easy to do. All right. I, had, I, need, I had I never need a seen a successful Hades run live or otherwise. And then there there it was. Those Athena shields really Yeah. Oh my cat's really coming over. Did some stuff. Hi Olive. Julia, you gotta draw something. Okay. A skeleton in a suit. Oh, I'm gonna combine two suggestions if my cat nice. would leave. <laughs> She's not gonna leave. She's gonna get comfortable and sit. Down. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's really good. He's gonna sit down right there, and then this is what purr. you have to deal with. She's gonna purr like crazy. It um, just makes me so happy that Olive is is with us and and thriving. Yeah, yeah me too. Every time I look at her, I'm like, it's cool that you're alive. All of his I look at her and I want to scream because she's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I feel she's that. She's so sweet. All right, I'm going to combine two suggestions. Someone said uh, skeleton in a suit, and someone also said um, monster in a diner. So here we go. So the skeleton in the suit is the monster in the diner, is what you're telling me. Mm -hmm. There's a monster at the end of this diner, <laughs> and it's a skeleton oh, in a suit. Spoilers. You. Nathan, did you you did you read There's a Monster at the End of This Book when you were a kid? Uh no. I um but I did read Andy's uh article for College Humor. There's a monster at the end of this article. Yeah, that was good. That's very I love that good. one. Andy's real good at drawing Muppets and also horrible nightmare creatures. It turns so, out Julia had also not read There's a Monster. I had never heard book. of it. No, I didn't. I didn't know it. I didn't know that one. That's a, it's a good one. It was like it sounds one of good. The, the earliest fourth wall breaking pieces of media I had experienced. That's great. And I I loved it because I was like, it's like Grover is talking to me. Yeah. 
Grover knows that I'm here and is counting on me <laughs> to not reach the end of this book. <laughs> Grover's <laughs> trying to warn you desperately. Yeah. Thousands of children have not heeded Grover's grim warnings. Grover's plea. <laughs> Well, the Grover thing is, just I don't, begging you as you turn each page. I don't want to spoil it, uh -huh. Nathan. Yeah. But I, I am going to spoil the book. Okay. Spo uh, hey, spoilers. Spoiler warning for Monster at the end of this book. Mm -hmm. If you get to the end of the book, it, the, Grover was the... It turns out that Grover, Grover was, the, was, monster, the, was the monster the whole time. Yeah, Grover. And, it's, and it says you are the monster. You are the monster. As what you if humans was the real monsters at the it, end of the it book? It turns out... People was the real monster. Yeah. Humans was the monster all along. And it really makes you think as a, as a kid. I really liked um, Barn Dance. What is Barn Dance? What is that? It was, a, it was a children's book called Barn Dance. It had some real good illustrations. I don't know that one. Sounds fake. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to Google it right now. Barn Dance. Danielle Scorgi said, it says humanity is the monster. Consider action on climate change. Contact your representatives. And Grover looks all serious. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It had these real nice painted illustrations. Barn Dance by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archambault. Illustrated by Ted Rand. Oh, I got to look this up. You think Ted Rand's related to Ayn Rand? I hope not. Do you think Ted Rand's related to Rand Paul? I hope not. <laughs> I would never want to sully Ted Rand's good illustrations by such associations. Got to scoop, got to scoop some of these drawings. Damn, these are nice drawings. They're real nice drawings. Just real pleasant. Lots of movement. Wow. I want to see. They're like compositionally is this is just like legitimately good art. Yeah. That's, awesome. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes children's books art is not as good as this. Yeah. Did but you see good. Eric uh Eric Carl is on Twitter and he he tweeted out a a, a pumpkin for October. Who's Eric Carl? Uh uh the, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Eric Carl. Very Hungry Caterpillar. How do you spell Carl? C-A-R-L-E, I think. Eric. Oh. Is it World of Eric Carl? No. Is it Eric Carl Museum? Um. Uh. No, it's just Eric Carl. Whatever, I gave up. He's following zero people and has 71,000 followers. I have almost as many followers as Eric Carl. I think Droppy has more. Wow. Eric Carl. Incredible. Droppy is officially more popular than Eric Carl. Wow. And that's a fact. And it will only be remedied if Eric Carl follows Droppy on Twitter. <laughs> The one thing, the one account. Imagine if we got Eric Carl on an episode. I would lose my mind. Do we know anything about Eric Carl as a person? He Is made Eric Carl chill. He must be. You don't make books like that and not be chill. Do you ever look at um, people's? Twitter followers numbers. And there's a lot of people out there that have like on their YouTube channels, let's say less subscribers than we do, but on Twitter, they have like way more followers than we do. And I'm always like, what's the deal with that? Well, we don't, I mean, I tweet sometimes. Yeah. I don't tweet. But really like ever. I'm not, I'm not focused on, on Twitter growth. That's true. I probably tweet the most. Out of all of us. And you have the most followers. Yeah. 
Karina has the most followers. Does she? Of all of us, I think so. I thought I surpassed Karina. I can check. I can run the numbers right run now. Run the numbers. I don't want to tweet is the thing. I just want to have the followers. So that I just way... want the people there in case I have something important to tweet. Well, the number for me is so that if I reached out to someone that I want to work with, it's... they'll click on my name and be like, this guy's got a lot of followers. He's an yeah. actual content man and not a fraud, not a fraudster. I guess I do have the check mark though. You that, do. that gives me some swing. I applied yeah, you, so many you're the only one with the check mark. mark. <laughs> and I have the least followers of any of us. <laughs> but you uh, had the stupid. you had the wherewithal to apply. I applied. I just, Julia oh, applied like, several Julia, times. Yeah, I just said times I applied several times. And kept getting uh denied. Several well, times. Joke's on you. I didn't apply. I don't I don't want the check mark. I've heard Olive. Olive, we're gonna destroy you. You're gonna wish you were were not alive if you keep scratching the carpet. <laughs> uh, so Julia has 76.6k okay. on Twitter. Uh-huh. Karina has 86.6k <gasps> that's what i thought 10k wow. more yeah 10k more karina yeah, has right. has more followers on her account than i believe Drafi does and i've got 62.1 all of here pathetic a pathetic paltry 62.1 <laughs> isn't it like if you're over like 10,000 or something. You're in like the top 0.1% of Twitter users or something crazy like that, that. I can't, that's wild. That's one of those things. One of those statistics where it's like, it's just cause there are, all, we're in the are, upper echelons. Yeah. Cause there are a lot, I guess there's a lot of people who don't have that many. Yeah. There's way more people that don't have that many. Julia, I like the skeleton. I haven't discussed the skeleton yet. Thank you. But I like that he's kind of like frumpy. Yeah, I wanted a little frumpy skeleton. And he has Homer <laughs> Simpson's hair. He's waiting for someone. He sort of reminds me of uh, Gil from The Simpsons. Yes. The, the character Gil. Right. Just sort of like, oh gosh, Gil, you really got to make a sale this week. I don't know, Gil. I don't know The Simpsons. Olive, could you well that choose? well that that reference then wasn't wasn't for you it was for anyone else but I don't like it when people it say things that aren't directly for me okay Jacob this this reminds me of um uh mm -hmm. the the character from skeleton bookseller Honda san yeah Olive. it reminds me of that. Thank you for referencing that thing that I know about, Nathan. Yeah. That one was for me. <laughs> Olive's back. Olive forced me to pet her. She just like rams her little face into my body and then my arm so that I pay attention to her, right? Mott <laughs> James said, listen, if you wear a suit, you are a skeleton in a suit. And that's true. Whoa. Wow. That's I true, guess actually. if you think about it, skin is the suit and we're all wearing, we're all skeletons we're all wearing, wearing suits because, because skin is the because suit. Because skin is the suit. At the end of the book. Of, of Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the book, Grover says skin is the suit and we're all wearing it. <laughs> 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 the book title is Grover says something fucked up at the yeah. end of this book. <laughs> Grover really makes you think at the end of this book. <laughs> and every page he's like, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. I'm going to drop some truth bombs on you Once that you, you might not shit, be ready for. <laughs> you're not going to be able to go back to a time before you heard this shit I'm yeah. about to say. So, you know, get off now. Get out now. Here's the here's the off ramp. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you're at least sitting down. 
Ashley M said Grover gets canceled at the end of the book. <laughs> Grover, no. Is that is Grover working at this diner? Is Grover going to get the order wrong and make this skeleton miss his uh, flight to South America? No, I feel like Grover is shaming the skeleton for going to the end of the book. <laughs> Did the skeleton went to the end of the book? Yeah. And Grover's like, I, listen, I, I, warned you. I thought I was I pretty clear. I, mean, I told you. I mean, I, I just asked you. It was a request. Before now you outed me as uh, as the monster. The the skeleton was just a a person before he got to the end of the book, and the the end of the book was so shocking that it made all of his skin and flesh fall off. So this is like right after the skeleton got to the end of the book, and then came to this diner and was like, "I just need I need a coffee. I need to have a think." And Grover followed him. <laughs> Grover followed him. And was like, um. Do you, uh, do you have anything to, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say I told you so, but, uh, well, you, you see, you see what happened. I am going to say you hooked it up. I'd like to imagine that Grover Shelton's just like, hey, man, um, noticed you went to the end of the, the book. <laughs> uh, I don't want to, like, be a dick about it or anything, but you saw the title, right? Like, you I saw, did. Like, <laughs> Was, is yeah I guess I guess my question is just like what could I have done differently yeah it's, it really felt like I, I made it explicitly clear I don't think there was any confusion in the messaging because here's the thing you're not the first person to do this so <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm trying to understand what I can do to to maybe prevent this from happening because you I like I must be sending out the wrong message somewhere yeah. because it seems like most people do actually go to the end of the book and it's, <laughs> it, it couldn't be more. Yeah. I, I didn't, it. I didn't think there was any ambiguity there, but there clearly, there's clearly something happening. Is it me? Yeah. Like, am I, am I not you? conveying the, the urgency of the fact that there is a monster at the end of this book or <laughs> why is Grover in a trench coat? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to be seen. <laughs> this is like, if you sent this to someone with no contacts, they would be baffled as to what this could possibly mean. We should do that as an episode where we just draw something and we see what the original prompt is. We all try to guess what the original prompt was. Wait, like, what do you mean? Like, we all come in with a drawing or we all draw it on our own free time. And maybe it's like a speed draw thing. And then the rest of the team has to guess what the original prompt oh, was. Oh, I see what you mean. That's fun. We just each pick, we each pick a, a drawing prompt from the comments that's like, we're never gonna make a full episode about, but yeah, yeah. But it catches our fancy, and then we just try and guess what, yeah, what the prompt was that we picked. That's a great I, idea. I like that. That'd be fun. Put that on the list of I'll episode put it in ideas. My, in my phone right now. Put it in the phone bone. With all my other good ideas I have in here. Guess that prompt. Four exclamation points. This could be that one person's shot to finally see knock off Mucha Lucha. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening, baby. Mucha Lucha app 2020. I what watched if, that show. What if you if like you found out that we'd been secretly working on the Mucha Lucha app for like years? Yeah, and it was like the biggest project we'd ever undertaken. <laughs> Just like us in a in a room with like a, a whiteboard and a bunch of uh, notes. Just being like, okay, we we want to do knock off Mucha Lucha, but we, we want to do it right. right. Yeah, yeah. Every episode of Drawfee, there's a huge brainstorming sesh <laughs> before we we ever hit record. <laughs> we have to write the whole episode. I've the way, watched like um, three episodes of Mucha Lucha, I think, total. 
I don't know what that is. It's a cartoon show about luchadors. Yeah. Hmm. There's okay. uh, there's ri Ricochet and Buena Girl and yeah. The Flea. Yeah. Nathan, that memory coming in. Yeah. Nathan, I think you and Julia together like form one complete person. <laughs> and you got all of the entertainment memory. I got all the entertainment memory except for like certain certain songs julia knows more songs than i yeah, do julia got the songs yeah you got all the entertainment uh like names of characters things like that plots julia got all the work ethic julia got <laughs> for sure all the work ethic <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm cursed but you got all the chill yeah <laughs> i have no chill Julia i got all got the no chill i got all the i got all the fuck it yeah <laughs> fuck it go to bed <laughs> you got all the fuck it and julia got all the fuck you yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hiding the eye made it so much more obvious. it looks like grover is about to try and kill this skeleton <laughs> <clears throat> yeah this is such a confusing image. <laughs> <laughs> it really just goes to show putting putting a Muppet in an image <laughs> really, really sort of puts it off balance. He's a Sesame Street, right? Like if it if it was uh yeah, it is Sesame Street. Um there's like overlap like, there, right? If it was well, just like a skeleton sitting in a diner, I could be like, oh, it's like a horror sort of like a horror world, some sort of like spooky, mm -hmm. a spooky diner. But what having Grover, having Grover there <laughs> makes the whole thing so much more unsettling. Yeah, because you cannot get a beat on what the tone of this. Yeah, it's it's like, why is Grover so sad? <laughs> Julia, Grover's, I would love to Grover's see Grover's never you. sad. I would love to see you do a whole series of scary images with Muppets in them <laughs> and make that like your, like I, I would go to a museum exhibit of all of those. Like if that was your thing for like a whole, like 20 images. Well, you got me something to work on for this weekend. This weekend, make 20 images. <laughs> 20 images. The work ethic. <laughs> we do, yeah, we do have to do our Patreon drawings before the end of the month but also spend spend some time i'll tell you right now the patreon drawings are not enough work for julia mm -hmm. that's fair yeah she will make more to fill I, I remember i had done like the first month uh we we got like the most patreon drawing requests the first month um compared to subsequent months and i had done a, a few of mine and then I saw, uh, we like all started sharing the ones that we had done and I saw Julia's and I was like, oh, oh yeah. man. <laughs> they were really good. <laughs> Julia, all of yours were really good. Thank you. I thought everyone's was very good. I thought you were going to say that I had mine done first, which I think. I think well, I you did. did. You, you had done many and also just like, it says doodle in the true and yours are i guess your doodles are just very very finished looking in a way that my doodles are less finished looking you know it's different doodles for different poodles you know you suggest you you request me you're gonna get a nathan drawing you request julia you're gonna get a julia drawing no that's surprise just, there i feel that's just how it goes yeah yeah, come right. on, come away. on. It's my turn to draw. Yeah, I, have I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten a spicy request. I think all the rest of you have gotten at least one spicy request each. Go under. No yeah, one trusts me to do a, a spicy. spicy. Yeah. Jacob's gotten the most spicy requests. I'm not very good at them. I don't. I can't. 
I don't draw horny very often. Your uh, your spicy York is really good. I did like that one. Draw I... horny is the sequel to Drive Angry, starring Nicolas Cage. Come here. Somebody laugh with me about that, please. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I said Draw Horny is the sequel to Drive Angry, starring Nicolas Cage. <laughs> You did say that. And nobody I, um, to laugh with me about it. And I was hurt because I thought it was a funny thing to say. It it was funny. You're right. That was we were wrong. We were it was wrong of us to not laugh at that. Thank you. Chad is laughing as well. Thank you, Chad. Please draw the big chicken from memory. Just real quick, 10 second sketch, says David Brannon. The big big chicken from memory. The big chicken? Yeah, the, the big, big chicken. chicken. I can draw what, the big chicken. What's the me. big chicken? It's like this. It's a Georgia thing. Oh. Pets in Halloween costumes. Oh. Oh. It's like this. And there's like a restaurant underneath it. People want to see a combined me and Nathan. Oh, yeah, because you, cause you said. Because you said together we make one complete person one one balanced human yeah uh producer halloween it has the dilbert tie no <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just adding my own little spin <laughs> okay i'm ma imagining what if the big chicken had to go to the the business meeting okay i said all his name because i wanted her to come over and um she instead Flipped around and attacked her tail and then uh, ran away. How's the big chicken even going to fit into the conference room is my question. Too big. You're right. Yeah. It's a it's a problem for big chicken. <laughs> These feet. Oh, there she is. She's to your right. Who says you can't have it all? What I'm a I big doing? chicken and I have a a career yeah you can yeah. be the big chicken and have a career and have a family you can have it all the only thing you can't have is being a small chicken no draw the producers with jobs the producers with jobs isn't producing their job producing is their job but what if it wasn't oh i it see wasn't. it's like that episode we did where we drew what our jobs would be yeah and it turned out it was it was like living inside someone's walls yeah and eating their their leftovers i want to do like i am going to draw the producers working 9 to 5 that's the picture them sleeping with the 9 to 5 song going Joy is definitely going to be late for work. Yeah. But Olive would also be late to work, but because she was too nervous. Olive got there on time and then just stood outside. She stood in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, Joy's not nervous at all about the work. Just overslept. Joy, Joy just overslept. Here she comes. Yeah, we know, we know Olive's job is... Um, fantasy shop owner that's true who doesn't sell anything and this and the shop is closed but i feel like it's it's different now olive is different now olive is a brand new cat although i have to say olive has a new lease on life all, we've brought olive to four vet appointments since her diagnosis and every single time every vet has kept her merchandise in the store no no one has removed it she has that little ramane cap that she loves mm -hmm. so much and it's in her carrier because that's where she put it she put it in her little house and um every vet has has left it in there oh does she have the toast yeah she's got the toast she's got the toast she's, she's got, got, got the, the toast. toast she's got the toast yeah she's got the toast i remember um for the finale of Pokemon Rusty, we each drew a different uh like anime trope thing for uh 
for Rusty and Perfect Bidoof and Clefay Valentine. Uh, and mine was them late for school with the toast. Oh, yeah. In the mouth. I remember that was the one contribution I made to Pokemon Rusty. Yeah, yeah. me too. I did the Totoro. Yeah, you did the Totoro. Julia did like them in space. Yeah, I drew them in space. My one contribution to Pokemon Rusty, even though it was for Dorkly and I worked on Dorkly, Olive, uh, okay, her tail was just in the camera. And then there was Pokemon Ralphie. Yes. I got to be Ralphie in Pokemon Ralphie. Become Ralphie. This is a very cute joy. This is really good. I'd watch this show. Since Olive has become well, Joy doesn't know how to handle Olive. And Olive will do some really weird and wild stuff now. And Joy just looks at her and then like looks at us with big eyes and it's just like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, what do I do with this? <laughs> Joy was sitting at the window yesterday and Olive sprinted in and jumped on top of the air conditioner and just <laughs> stood there with her tail flicking around and Joy just like big eyed stared at her and then just like looked at Jacob and I like. She She's uh, she's doing a real, real gym from the office looking, looking directly yeah. into the camera. Like, can yeah. you believe, can you believe this, this clown? The, this, this nonsense I have to deal with here. It's like I could quit the job, but. I'd rather just act I'd like an asshole. I'd, all I'd the time. rather I'd rather go. Hmm. 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 My um my my wall neighbors have been watching The Office. I know this because uh, I can hear the theme song riff. Oh, that classic bow, riff. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know how every episode of The Office starts with Steve Carell doing stand-up? <laughs> you ever notice how uh, you work in an office and sometimes uh, your uh, your stuff gets put in jello? Boop, ba doop, boop, 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 doop. Boop, boop, doop, doop. Guys, I've never watched The Office. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not really into shows like that. The only one that I got into, and it took me a long time to get into it, was Parks and Rec. Yeah. Uh, I love for- Parks and Rec. I also really enjoyed The Office, but I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah. I finally, I, I finally watched all of it because, because uh, Emily had never seen all of it, and. Uh, you know, they, they try some stuff. Like, at the time, I remember being upset that they were continuing it going after Steve Carell left. But, you know, they they, they got to explore some of the other characters. James Spader is, uh, he, he does some fun stuff in there. James... Spader. James does he Spader, dig a lot of stuff? Does he wear a stupid hat and make me not want to watch Blacklist? <laughs> I don't, he's he sometimes wears a stupid hat. I don't know. He doesn't What's really up with him in hats. He doesn't really do much uh, with regards to uh, Blacklist, a different show that that he's on. But he does play like a real creepo weirdo, and he's very good at that. All I know is every time I see him in the blacklist image on Netflix, I'm like, there's a show I'm never going to watch because of James Spader's dumb hat. It's just because of his dumb hat? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. He looks like a freaking I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to watch it, but not. it's because I have no interest in watching it. it is not, I, like, I don't make my television watching decisions based on the hats people are wearing. Well, there's something about that hat. There's th- that's the difference between you and I. Yeah, I guess so. Because I also will never watch the show Peaky Blinders. 
Oh, because it's called Peaky Blinders. And I think <laughs> at some point you have to say like, you know, there's there's a we have to stop. You can't name a show Peaky Blinders. I don't need I to watch to with my dollar Peaky Blinders because they already have the meme the where he's telling everyone no fighting. Have you seen that one? No. no. He's in he's in a room with all the people and he's and he points to each one of them. He gets up in their face like no fighting, no fighting, no fighting, no fighting. And then uh, and then he goes to leave and a person like accidentally bumps into him and he just like takes him and, and throws him and <laughs> cuts off right there. It's pretty I think it's that's pretty funny. That's that pretty funny. That's pretty fun. It's it's like uh, it's like he tells everyone else to do a thing, and then immediately, when presented with uh, um, the opportunity to demonstrate the behavior that he's been instructing uh, the others to do, he d- sure. he does the, he doesn't uh, doesn't do, follow his own. He rules. doesn't follow his. It's yeah. that, and and that's comedy. And it's also uh, is it. Is it Cillian Murphy, Killian Murphy? Killian? It's, it's Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy with the, doing the, uh, doing the the old timey British accent is pretty fun. I watched a, a bit of Peaky Blinders. You did what? Yeah. Behind <laughs> my back. I know. <laughs> what have I told you about watching <laughs> shows with dumb hats or dumb names in in this house? I thought we were clear about this. I thought we were on the same team. I apologize. You know I love a, a World War affected world. I don't know what the show is about or the setting of it because it's called Peaky Blinders. Do you want to know what it's about? No. Oh. I refuse to learn. Fair. We need rules for naming. I keep thinking that that siren that's in Nathan's background is a wispy wind. Did we lose? Oh, I thought we lost Nathan because he was he was just very still for a moment. I was just reading the chat. Oh, okay. How's the chat? They they, they um. They're saying, "Can you refuse to learn?" <laughs> yeah, obviously. The chat is good. Chat as good. per as per usual. Chat making me happy. People want to know what uh, their job is. The cats. They definitely work at the same office. They look they look like a couple of uh, Gretsukos. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're kind of like some Gretsukos. Do I they think. work at an accounting firm? Maybe. The point is that it's an office and it's one you have to wear like, you know, businessy clothes to. Did and y'all I do hear that feel strongly that, that motorcycle of... that just went by? No. 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 I feel like these two are reporters. I feel like Joy can't sit still long enough to be an accountant. I was going to say I feel strongly that Olive would wear the the dress, the business skirt yeah. and the heels and mm-hmm. Joy would wear yeah. the pants and a shirt that's poorly tucked in. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, this, this is their personalities. This is really good. Yeah. You just busted these out and these are yeah, just these are great. These drawings. are lovable, adorable. It's fun to draw a cat people sometimes we look at joy and she just looks so haggard (laughs) like her fur is everywhere and she just woke up so like one eye is kind of open joy would have this thing going on yeah absolutely and uh she's just like a mess a lot of the time and all of just this like pretty this pretty little kitty pretty kitty committee (laughs) pretty kitty committee uh this is done this is done. Nathan, it's time for you to draw again. Okay. You have to unshare the screen. Unless you're too afraid. I am afraid because it's the spooky month. Very scary. In case Halloween anyone missed my uh, Halloween Pikachu. There it is We're again. Back. Oh, is that what the prompt was? It, the prompt Halloween. for this drawing was Halloween Pikachu. Pikachu. For this drawing, the prompt was Halloween Pikachu. What should I draw right now? Let's see what we got. Grover as a Pikachu. Necromancer. A necromancer. It would be a cat necromancer. A cat necromancer? A wholesome, wholesome Sith, Sith Lord. Lord. Mid-afterlife crisis. 
Halloween weenie dog. Planet of the Apes coffee shop at Skull Wolf. What is sorry? What is a ne- a necomancer? Yeah. Yeah. It's not anything. I mean, it's a portmanteau of neko and and necromancer. And what is neko? It's a Japanese cat. reference to a cat. They're making a funny combination of words. You just drew some really good cats. Yeah. So is it a is it a person who summons cats? Who does like cat said, magic? Not, doesn't really exist. So you can kind of do whatever you want to with it. Could be someone like, who summons only dead cats. Cats who have passed on. Maybe they are a cat who is a necromancer. All right. Well, let's start with that. Okay. I don't, I don't hate that angle. I don't hate it either. I mean, I'll draw a cat. I'm going to get my water. Whoa. Do you want water? Yeah. Okay. You get my water while you're at it. All right. We both have water. Okay. Hydration squad, 420. I don't know why I said 420. I don't. It was. It was funny though. Sometimes it's just funny to say the funny number. Yeah, I like it. Is this Jacob's Halloween Sona's pet? I think so. A necromancer with a necomancer. Danielle Scorgi said, I'm not going to do it because I'm the worst, but stay hydrated, chat. And I'm calling you out personally. I think you should do it. I think you should also hydrate. Because the fact that you brought it up tells me that you've not been doing it. And let me tell you something. You don't want to be all dried out like a California raisin. You don't want to be all dried out like a California raisin. It's a good cat skull. Thank you. It's my favorite uh, mountain range. <laughs> the cat skulls. The cat skulls. Another good joke from me. That was really good. Stay tuned to see what other kind of jokes we're going to say before this episode's over. I bet we'll say at least three more good jokes. Ooh. We can hope. Now that you brought it up, we can hope. Yeah. We've got over an hour left. That's one good joke per 20 minutes. We have an hour and eight minutes. Yeah. So we each have 23 minutes approximately to say a good joke. I think we can do it. Debatable. This cat's like a cue bone. It's like a cue bone. More like a cute bone. Yeah. Because it's cute. It's pretty cute. I don't think that one was good enough. No, no, that counts. That's one. That counts? Wow, okay. The standards are not very high. No. You said good joke, not great joke, not world-changingly incredible joke. Yeah, you're right. There's got to be good jokes in order for there to be great jokes. Yeah. We need, You need all kinds of jokes. Hmm. Hmm. Julia, hmm. where's your joke? I don't got one. I am one. Oh no, <laughs> that was kind of a joke. A self-deprecating joke. That's what you think. That is what I think. I just now you, I've you've reminded me of that picture of um, Nick Kroll we had in the old office. Oh, that yeah. just that just said, don't have any jokes, then you're the joke. I never knew what that was in reference to or why it was there, but I hated it. I think it was from the College Humor MTV show. College Humor had an MTV show. Did they? Yeah, a short-lived MTV show. And then Brian Murphy had an MTV show. Oh, the middle of the night show. Middle of the night show. There's just some days at the office where like I I wasn't in sort of the mental place to see Nick Kroll. Yeah. And then I'd go in that office and I'd have to see him. Yeah. And I mean, nothing against Nick Kroll. 
No, but the energy of the picture was pretty aggressive. Right. Like it was a Nick Kroll character. Yeah. A Nick Kroll character from early in his career where he was playing a lot of a lot of jerkuses. Oh, this cat is purring. The one in my lap, not the one in the picture you're drawing. It might be purring. You don't know. It might be purring. Maybe that's how this cat charges up their necromantic energies. Yeah, yeah. Ne- necromantic. Necromantic energies. Olive, you're such a good cat. How are you doing that? How are you doing that? Got to tone it down. Being too good. What do you guys want to talk about? Ooh, um... Well, I told you all this already, but I could tell I could tell everyone about my my fun uh, adventure that I had today. Oh, I didn't hear it because I was doing the setup. Yeah, okay, so I'll tell I'll it. tell you as well. So um, I I woke up and the uh, the old uh, there was a there was a loud uh, beeping noise mm-hmm. happening, mm-hmm. and uh, I saw that it was my uh, my. That was smoke. a good joke. Thanks. Julia got her joke in. I got wait, it which, in. Wait, I didn't hear it. I said your building was backing up. That, see, that's better than my whole story, though. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I like that one. Let's just end it there. Oh, okay. Uh, so I woke up. I, whole building was backing up. I woke up to a beeping sound, and it turned out uh, my whole building was backing up. <laughs> <laughs> tell tell them the story though, for real. Okay. So uh, it was my it was my smoke slash uh, carbon monoxide detector going on. Oh, that's why you were asleep because there's carbon monoxide. What? Carbon monoxide poisoning uh, causes people to you, fall. You should have let it go at one. You should have let it go at the first <laughs> one. You did such a good one. I sh- I... You already met your quota. And so there wasn't. Um, <laughs> There wasn't smoke, so I was like, it must be the carbon monoxide. And so yes, I, I googled, that. I googled what you do when the carbon monoxide detector goes off, and it said, uh, call the fire department. Yes. So I did that, and they came, they came right on over, and uh, so like six strong men came into my apartment to tell me that my uh, carbon monoxide detector was defective and there was no, and there was no carbon monoxide in my apartment. So uh, the most common call for fire departments is carbon monoxide uh, false alarms. Well, they, they got one. So they're used to it. They got one for me. They got to enjoy one for me. And you got to have company over. Yeah, so that was cool. Which is nice. You don't get to do that very much these days. Uh, and I did get to learn just how fast the fire department will come over. Yeah, how fast was it? Very fast. Nice. Extremely fast. Yeah, what usually happens... Uh, so I know this because I, I dated someone who was an EMT at a firehouse. It was me. It was Jacob, Jacob, you were an EMT at a firehouse? Yeah. <laughs> Um, but most of the calls they get are, are false alarm carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, so they'll go, and a lot of the time it's just like the battery's dying. Uh, so they just will change the battery or tell them to change the battery. I had just changed the battery in mine. Hmm. So I think I just need a new one. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like it's just, it's just broken. Yeah. But it's good because I... I wasn't making a joke before. Carbon monoxide poisoning really does make you go to sleep. It makes everyone very sleepy. Yeah. Well, that wasn't the joke. Yeah. The joke was that that was why Nathan was asleep. I see. It was because his house was full of carbon monoxide. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Anyway. That's the joke. I see. That's the joke. Or maybe you're the joke, according to Nick Kroll. According to Nick Kroll. I had a friend who passed out in her apartment and uh, they had called, her neighbor had called an ambulance and then the fire department came over because I couldn't get into her apartment. And so she woke up with just like six strong, beautiful men holding her. And she was like, nice. Nice. This is a good thing to happen to me. (laughs) 
A lot of people want Nathan and the six strong men to be drawn, and I'm going to go ahead and volunteer myself. Jacob can handle that, that one. one. When it comes back to me. Did you hear that wow. motorcycle Speed that went by? Speed racer outside. Yeah. I, I always get excited when I hear a, a motorcycle coming by. I Why? think it's I because it, it sounds like a party. It's a party on wheels. It, no, <laughs> I'm going to have to disagree with you. I think it's loud and uh -huh. disruptive and I hear it and it makes me deeply angry. Wow. Deeply furious. Jacob is a um, is a buzzkill. It turns out. Wow. I guess the truth come out. Motorcycles they don't need to be that loud. No, they do though. Because it's how been, else are we gonna know proven. if one's coming by? I don't want to know. <laughs> Again, I don't want to know when they're coming by. You're just you you're bumming me out with these. <laughs> you don't have a motorcycle. No, but I someday might. No, you you won't. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> can't even pretend. Julia might someday. I might. Really? Yeah. I was supposed to take motorcycle lessons uh, when I turned like 22 because my dad really wanted me to know how to drive a motorcycle. Uh, my dad has this whole thing about me uh, having all forms of different kinds of uh licenses to drive things your dad mm -hmm. thinks you're going to end up in like a taken-esque action movie at any time you're going to need to go from car to wants... speedboat to motorcycle yeah yeah but he wants me to have all the driver's licenses for the appropriate vehicles i might need in my escape does he what have the licenses does he have them he has a certain set of skills he's got motorcycle license yeah he had a motorcycle when i was a kid also he's from france they all have some sort of scooter or motorcycle we rode a motorcycle for a really long time. Wow. Yeah. He had, a, he had a Harley I when I was a kid. Jacob, how can you have dated Julia for so long and not know whether her dad ever rode a motorcycle? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe, uh, maybe there's a lot of things I don't know. You know, it's really just making me think. I have a boating license. <laughs> I have, Hell yeah. Uh, I have a license to operate a, a boat. That's cool. I had to get it for when I was sailing for a while. Does it expire? I don't think so. It's over there. It's it's in my little, it's in my desk. It's a convenient place for it to be. I found it the other day when I was looking through stuff. Oh, good staff. Good staff. Good staff. Good staff. Thank you. Nathan, I just like this drawing. I think you did really good with the, the paws. Yeah. It reminds me of the paws on the SWAT cats. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This has a big SWAT cats energy, actually. This is maybe a SWAT cats villain. I could see that. This is in the new season of SWAT cats. Are y'all excited for the new Animaniacs? No. <laughs> My brother texted me about it, and he's very excited. I don't I'm really excited. think any shows should come back. I think it's fine for a show to have existed and then be done. No, everything needs to happen multiple times. I don't think it needs to happen again. I think we ha already had it, and it was good. Live and let die. And I don't want to see it again. Live and let die. Live and let die. That's what I think about it i do want to say though about swat cats i think i think it's fun oh you okay Nathan, so, this is important uh-huh <laughs> the swat cats opening freaking rips swat ass. cats ooh ha ha no i also hate that reference just so you know what was that was that a finding is, nemo yeah it was a finding nemo that was a finding people nemo. made that reference all the time and i for some reason that's the one that like got in the back of my brain and every time i hear it i'm like Ugh. Ugh. in any case go watch the swat cats opening on youtube challenge 2020 wait jacob motorcycle ooh ha ha 
I like that one. <laughs> because if it was you, so bad it's a double it's a double negative yeah it's like it's like a math yeah well i like that one because it was tailored to me yeah it was meant to upset you the most yeah and i thought that was funny if you're too young and haven't seen swat cats just google swat cats intro and watch it in a different I, app. i'm not too young i just didn't it was that was on cable right I couldn't watch that one. Yeah, it was on cable. I only found out about SWAT Cats as an adult. There was a part at the end of every SWAT Cats episode where they like would look at the camera and be like, and remember, don't tell Nathan. Yeah. And I didn't know what that meant at the time. Now, but now, you know. yeah. now it really makes sense. Was the SWAT Cats universe tied in with the Samurai Pizza Cats universe? No. Why not? It was different. Why? Samurai Pizza Cats was like a parody of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah. Whereas SWAT Cats was a knockoff. SWAT Cats was deadly serious and there were no mutants. There were only two SWAT Cats. And it was Garfield with guns. It gun. was unrelated to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was just two cool cats that had all these vehicles and had to fight a bad cat. Did they have to like hide the fact that they were SWAT cats by being like normal house cats. No, every oh. everyone was cats. It was oh. a city full of cats. It was a city full of cats, but only two of them were the SWAT cats. Correct. Interesting. Oh yeah, Damien's just brought up Biker Mice from Mars. You ever watch that one? Nope. That one ruled too. If you like motorcycles, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. Better check out Biker Mice from Mars. Those aren't real motorcycles. Those are pretend cartoon motorcycles. They're fake. Yeah, those are better. Man, speaking of uh, cartoon motorcycles, I really like the motorcycle that was in Batman Beyond. I'm not remembering what it looked like. It's just... I'm going to look at it. It's cool. Everything from Batman Beyond was cool. Batman Beyond was very cool. That Batman one Beyond, that's a watch. good show. Because it was on Kids WB. Let's see what the motorcycle looked like. This is all replicas. It looked like kind of the Tron motorcycle from what I'm remembering. Is it this red thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Or is it this this one? These are toys. Those are toys. I need to see it in the show. Oh, it does look pretty cool. I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do the ribs. Do the ribs like you like you had on your Halloween Sona, but then forgot. Yeah, I totally forgot about. I was obsessed with Batman Beyond as a kid. I really wanted to be that dude. Batman Beyond? Yeah. Mr. Or Batman Beyond. Old Bruce Wayne. No, Batman Beyond. What's his name? Damien Is Lucky it? Star. Damien Lucky Star. <laughs> <laughs> The famed Batman Beyond, Damien Lucky Star. <laughs> His name was Terry. Cruz? No, not Terry Cruz. Terry McGinnis? Bradshaw. Terry McGinnis. Yes. Not Damien Lucky Star. <laughs> Although that's a really good name, too. Thanks. How did, what is, is that a reference to something or did you no, just say that? Okay. I just said that. There's an anime called Lucky Star. Oh. And Damien is in the chat. Well, there you go. So we got there. Really makes you think. It really makes you think. Um, I think, I think I did it. You certainly did. Yeah, you did it. This is a, this is a Necomancer. I love it. You did good, Nathan. Thank you. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. Does Julia want to draw? Do you want to draw since you're at the computing? No, I want you to draw. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll draw. I have the UFO theme stuck in my head, which is, hold on, I'm doing a switch, which is the original theme song to... Big O. I'm getting a little, little drinky. He's getting a little drinky, even though I got him a big bottle of water. I need a 
Everyone look up the UFO theme and then look up the original, not the one that sounds like uh, Queen's Flash. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Um, Jacob's going to draw Nathan and six strong boys. They were men. Men. They were men who came to my home and told me that my uh, carbon monoxide detector was was wrong. I'll draw a street shark. Oh, heck yeah. I've never watched street sharks. Street don't chart. look up don't look up reference <laughs> do not look up <laughs> reference for the street shark draw what you believe the street shark is for some reason finding nemos is one of those movies that everyone i knew felt like they had to quote like 24 hours a day seven days a week <laughs> did people do the the dory doing the whale voice yeah. Hello, Jacob. They did that. They did the. Do you like the reference? They did the turtle. Julia, this is Kermit. This is Kermit. This is Kermit with sharp teeth. You can't fool me. <laughs> did I ever tell you guys about the time um, I. Uh, I watched Finding Dory on a bus and started openly weeping in front of a bunch of <laughs> strangers on a bus. No. no. I was on a bus and uh -huh. um, they had they had like TVs on the bus, yep. like not not a, not like in an airplane. Wait, how old were you in the story? Like, I don't know. In my in my late. 20s okay i just wanted uh, a frame of reference here. old right. old enough for the movie finding dory to be out of theaters and available to watch on a bus so okay you gotta my look up when finding dory was available on buses my my mid to late 20s okay um sorry continue and so it was a kind of bus. It was like a kind of fancy bus with some TV screens, not enough to have one on each uh, seat back, but like a few. And so it was the sort of thing where like they put a movie on and if you plugged your headphones in, you could hear the sound. Otherwise, it was just like the movie was playing with no sound. And so I was like, well, I'm on this bus. I may as well uh, watch the movie. I've never seen Finding Dory. I liked Finding Nemo. I did not have Jacob's experience with it where it was overquoted to the point that I didn't uh, like it anymore. I still mm -hmm. like the movie, just for the record. So I watched it. Have, has any, have you guys seen Finding Dory, by the way? No. So um, it's about Dory and her like backstory and her back dory her back dory and spoilers uh her parents love her very much oh no that'll, and, that'll get me yeah and so because like she's she's always her thing is she's like a, a forgetful fish like that's that's part of her characterization from uh yeah, from the first one. And so we learned that, that that has been an issue of hers since she was a, a, a little little girl fish. And so what her parents would do was they would leave little pebbles, like a little trail of pebbles, underwater pebbles, so that she could, if she forgot what she was doing, she could find her way back uh, to her parents. And so they, they lived in the aquarium. And... Um, and so, like, the whole movie, they're, like, going around trying to find Dory's parents in the aquarium. And they're, like, oh, your parents, like, left to go try and find you. Uh, oh, like, shortly after you went missing. They, they don't, they're not here anymore. Um, and so, uh, Dory's, like, they, like, go out through the, the vents of the aquarium 
and the and Dory's like like all disoriented, like she's been separated from all her friends again. And then she's she's all she's like sort of looking around and then on the ground she sees like a pebble and she sees another pebble and she starts uh she starts following them and like the camera does this like slow zoom out to show this like massive network of like pebble trails going in all directions leading back to this like one point indicating that her parents have been like doing this yeah. since she went missing and oh, man. uh that's, that's touching that just that just fucking did it for me i just yeah. started i just started bawling uh on this bus was anybody else crying or was it just you it was just me <laughs> it was just me that would that i can tell right now even just with you saying it i can tell that it would get me if i watched it was she was at her lowest moment and then this like beautiful visual representation of how her parents had never stopped uh looking for her or thinking about her that's lovely anyway so that's what that that's uh <laughs> when does this character come in that julia's drawn <laughs> well this is this is street sharks <laughs> <laughs> So he's a shark on the street <laughs> and his parents, not yeah. a fan of him. <laughs> Does he uh, have legs? <laughs> CGRX says also her given... dad has a fish version of male pattern baldness, which looks hilarious. <laughs> and uh, that's <laughs> so... Julia, does uh, does this street shark have legs, or is it just wearing pa like yeah. pants with one? I think we need answers on this. He's one. wearing pants, but it has like a seam in the middle where it was like definitely for humans, and then he just like sewed it together. So he, so he doesn't have legs. He can no, yeah. He has, he has one fin, but he still lives on the street. I'm realizing that the anatomy of this shark is like. Yeah, he's really, he's really long and then has arms. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's when he launches himself at his foes. It's it's always good when Julia draws a character and then has to draw sort of like a another smaller drawing to explain how they how they function. Yeah. That's cute though. It looks like he's he thinks he's an airplane. I feel like his character would be that he sits on like a stoop and then if you come by, he launches himself <laughs> off the stoop like an airplane and crashes into you. But that's like kind of the most he can do because he doesn't have legs. Yeah. To walk around the streets with. Really, he just wants to play dominoes with someone. Oh, love love a game of dominoes. Have y'all ever played King Domino? No. No. That's just a fun uh, board game. I don't know that one. It's it's a fun because the 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 dom in Domino is also the dom in Kingdom. It's also. So it's King it's Kingdom it's King Domino. Kingdom oh, King it's Dom like a Kingdom. You're building a kingdom with um, dominoes. Kingdom Domino. Kingdom Domino. They should have called it Kingdom Domino. Well, we can call it that when we play it. I'd like to. I'd like to play any game with my friends in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd like. Well, we can't do that, but we can go to boardgamearena.com and play all the board games. And even Kingdom Domino. Even, even especially Kingdom Domino. Do you think I would win, though? You might. All right, that's good enough it's, for me. I mean, that's the that's the sort of thing. That's what's fun about a board game is um, <laughs> once you know the rules, yeah, there's a ch there's always a chance you will win. That's really it, exciting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to press buttons fast or uh, collect anything. You just you you know the rules, and then if you if you do the if you if you play the game, you you might win. That's crazy, man. 
Yeah, that's board games. <laughs> that's wild. Um, this is Street Shark. This is Street Shark. Do you know at all what Street Sharks looks like? No. I just said I don't. Well, I know you haven't s seen it, but have you like I figured that you might have interacted with it in some way. No. We probably made reference to it on Droppy or Drawn the only Street Sharks before. Time that I the first time I found out about Street Sharks was when I was doing a a, a, a dorkly drawfy college humor event way back when and the entire crowd chanted street sharks at us for some reason was i there i don't know i don't remember this no Suze Suze caldwell and bridgman were there i have a picture with with everyone with everyone <laughs> but not me but not you you're not in that because i'm not there yeah I think you were busy. I probably wasn't invited because probably I was pretty early on for my being. I'm going to look up Street Sharks. In existence at the company. I love this drawing, Julia. Yeah, this is Thank a good you. drawing. This this looks like a New Yorker cartoon. It again. really does. Yeah. Um, like, is there like you a would, joke to be made about like landlords? There would be two people sort of staring at this guy and uh and they're and they're saying something like at least at, at least he's he's better than Giuliani anarchy night <laughs> this this it doesn't make any sense but i like it i like it just as a thing okay we're changing it up no okay See, now you've made it so <laughs> you've made Got it him. so that I don't like it. You took <laughs> -ha, I like. period. <laughs> Anarchy night. Ooh ha ha. You, you've made it so that I don't like it. Yeah. Which I don't appreciate. Yeah. That you Julia, done. the way that you've gotten around having having the the top of the banister tangent with the cigarette is I love that. Thanks. <laughs> Just don't draw it. Wow, look at these strong sharks with legs. Yeah, they're really strong and they they're have really legs. strong. Yeah. They're really beefy. Their names are Ripster, Big Slamu. Big Slamu. Streaks. Streaks. And then there's Dr. Piranha, who's a man. Dr. Piranha is a man. And not a shark. Not a street shark. Wow. Big, big Slamu. Big slam though. Man, we, those are we, good names. We talked about Street Sharks with the McElroy brothers when they were on an episode of Drawfee. I wouldn't know anything about that. I would also I? wouldn't know anything about that, would I? Nathan, I wouldn't know anything about you that. Never, you wouldn't know anything about that. Huh? Every time you talk to the McElroys, you don't invite us to talk to them. <laughs> You're like, oh, cool, the McElroys, who we all love. Uh, do all for myself. Even when I say to you, I know I'm not in the episode, but I would like to just come and say hi if I could just come in and say hi to the McElroys and then you don't tell me that it's happening to come and do that and then I don't get to say hi to the McElroys. <laughs> does any of that sound familiar? Yeah, does that, does that, seem, does that, does that strike up an old memory? Does that strike up an old memory? I, I, Let's get him back. Hey, Jacob, Jacob, remember that time that we got to talk to the McElroys and say like, hey, we, we listen to all of your content. See, I don't either. I don't remember that. I no. don't remember that either. It must have happened because if I had friends that were talking to the McElroys, I have to imagine they would let me know so I could come in and say hi. Yeah. <laughs> we had a cool guest that came to the episode that was specially invited and was like, all my friends like this content creator. <laughs> <laughs> we ruined it <laughs> we destroyed nathan stop bullying <laughs> stop bullying nathan we're the ones that got bullied we're the ones who got bullied we didn't it, he's worked with them several times nathan had multiple chances to let me speak to him McElroy, and he <laughs> failed every time <laughs> Never once. Not once. Never once have I got to say hi. 
Do you want to draw? Yeah, I'll draw. Okay. Are you going to draw Nathan with strict six strong men? Yeah. Okay. And they're all going to be McElroy's. And they're all going to be the McElroy's. Don't tell Nathan, but it's all <laughs> going to be the McElroy's. It's going to be two Griffins, two Justins, one Travis, and one Clint. Fair. <laughs> Do you think he's going to come back or <laughs> is he just done? I think he's done. I think he left. All right. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> oh, hey. Wow, wow Nathan. Hey, me. Nathan. You got that? Got that out of your system? <laughs> Feeling better? <laughs> Nathan was. Uh, Nathan left to go call the McElroys because he has their number on his phone and he just chats he, with them every day. Yeah, and he called up. He called up all all the McElroys and was like, "Yeah, they're doing it again. They're bringing up the time, and it really just gets me every time." <laughs> And then all the McElroys supported Nathan in his time of crisis. <laughs> Nathan tapped into his McElroy support system, as, <laughs> as we all call it. <laughs> we love you, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan. You. let's bring let's bring him back. Let's bring we him back. You. Do an episode with with them and not me, as <laughs> as revenge. No. I, I barely talk. I barely talk. I barely talk. <laughs> In, I barely talk. I talk uh, barely. Well, it's more than we. More, it's more than we. It's more than we. It's more than words. Nathan, it's it's fine. I understand it was a nervous situation. We're, See, just, just, see, we're just we're just goofing. In reality, what? I understand the situation. What? We're just doing jokes. Oh, but so that's actuality, another that's another joke. Yeah, that's another we got a, joke. We got another one. So we're are we almost we're hitting the quota? Did we did we do it? I've got empathy. I've got this empathy, and I used it to understand the situation. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Ooh ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> Every time Nathan says a ooh ha ha joke, well, that was a funny one. Unbelievable. Yours was funny too. The one where you put it in the caption. Yeah. That was a funny one. Thanks. Am I being like lifted up by yeah, by, by six these strong men? By these six strong men. Yeah. I I was wearing a mask and keeping my distance. For the record, they picked you up and they carried you over to your to, car, to my alarm. fire alarm to be like, "Hey, like, uh, it's defective. It's de this defective. Just okay, bye. It. We're gonna lift you up so you can see it." Uh, yeah, this is this is a fictional fantasy world though, where you don't have to be wearing yeah. a mask. I realized when I went to the grocery store this morning that it's like finally just become the the norm to have my mask and if someone has hand sanitizer just to like sanitize my hands and keep my distance and things like i don't even think about it anymore i think like, i don't know what to do when we go back i mean we don't have to go back to just being gross with each other we have to go back to being gross with each other is a very good statement we can still you know we can still respect one another's personal space. That would be nice. We can still get, wear the mask, but not really, but not really do it right. Just sort of have it sort of dangling from our chin. And do when it. babies are born, we can uh, put them in the mask immediately so that they're, they're born in the mask. Son of the mask. Son of the mask. Smoking. <laughs> I'm just kind of figuring out where all these six guys are gonna go. And they and they I are the really McElroys. No, they're not gonna be. That was just a joke. That was just a joke. Okay. I don't know what to believe anymore. Maybe there's one here who's just giving you like a little kiss on the head. 
Oh, I like that. A little, a little support. A little snack. <laughs> you can go back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, don't uh, worry. Don't be concerned. <laughs> this is my concerned face. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I was really concerned before. But this gentle kiss you've given me. This one's going to be like looking at you very uh, affectionately. This guy's going to be looking this way. This who's going to be looking up. This guy's going to be, we're going to put him over here, actually. Like some of them are like looking for, you know, threats. Yeah, as the fire department does, yes. In, in case there's any like threats. In case uh, Mr. Carbon Monoxide pops out of a wall and threatens to fight everyone. Mr. Monoxide. Mr. Monoxide. Carbon Monoxide. Mr. Monoxide, we meet again. Cam, I liked your joke. What? What's the joke? I don't know. I didn't see it. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you're lying to Cam. Yeah. You're lying to Cameron. We all need to be lied to sometimes. How can Cam ever trust that you like any of her jokes if... <laughs> It's the equivalent of like, oh, that's great, sweetie. <laughs> Mom, did you see? Yes, you, uh -huh. you did. You did great. You're not looking, though. You're doing great. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. Kind of just looking down at you like, hey, little buddy. Hey, Jacob, you know what I just realized? What? We got to watch Haikyuu after this. You guys are gonna watch Haikyuu after this. Yeah. We're gonna watch Haikyuu after this. Is I thought so are you is it a, a completed series or is it still ongoing? The manga is done. Yes. The anime series, the season is being released one episode every Friday right now. Wow. We're yes. in the middle of season four. That's so much volleyball. It's so much volleyball and yet not enough volleyball. It's so much more than that. We just thing. so the last episode we just we just passed in this anime about uh, uh, hold on just a sec. Someone has knocked at on my door. Oh my. Is it <laughs> the fire I department? I, it's the McElroys. The McElroys have knocked on the door and they're they they heard Nathan's pleas and they're coming to save Nathan. Well, it's a shame about Nathan. We've lost him to the McElroys. He's being, he's being adopted as the fourth McElroy brother. This guy really got his lips wrapped around Nathan's head. Wow. <laughs> it looks like he's sucking on Nathan's head a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's sucking on Nathan's head a little bit. But that's how you let someone know they're safe. What? <laughs> Just give it a little... <laughs> No, no. Oh my God, like that video of that little boy eating jello. Yeah, exactly. It's very good. What do firemen wear? They have like the big. They have the big coats. If they bother to put on the fireman's coats, otherwise they have those black t-shirts that go underneath. Oh yeah, the black, the black t-shirt. And then say. they got the the suspendies. Oh yeah, suspendies totally. To keep their their pantaloons up. Yeah, suspendies. And they, they just kind of slurp on Nathan's little head. To keep their fruit of the looms up. <laughs> just give Nathan's head a real... A real slurp. Yeah. That's gross. No, it's not gross. Don't suck on your friend's heads unless you well, get their permission. Well, this is a consented situation. I said unless you get their permission. Well, this is permission. This is permission. <laughs> yeah, this is permission. Wow, this is a real chiseled... A chiseled firefighter right here. Yeah, well, this one's looking for threats. Oh, this is like the Terminator one. Yeah. Yeah. So if there's any, like, threats to Nathan, this one wants to know about it before. It's, he's looking for carbon monoxide. Someone said that this is Fire Force. It's Fire Force without the kitty woman. Yeah. Hi, it Nathan. Was, it was just my landlord checking, checking it up. McElroy's? It was the McElroy's. They were like... They, they, I heard you're getting bullied. Okay, like, hey, we heard what happened. Yeah. Do you want to come be the fourth with McElroy brother? And Nathan yeah. said, I, "I thought we, I thought I already was." They well, like, they said they uh, they offered to actually come uh, talk to you, but I said uh, no. They were just joking. 
before. So they, <laughs> it's actually it's actually fine. They don't actually need to to talk to you. So so they left. Thanks, Nathan. <laughs> I love these characters. This I like this. This is like a hot Nigel Thornberry. Yeah, it is. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, this one's a hot Nigel Thornberry. There's a lot of ways to be hot. I agree. And I intend to express many of them in this drawing. Six I love of that. Them. We're seven of them. But what is crucial, though, apparently, is that you're just a very strong fireman. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a let's get a ear. Let's mm -hmm. get a ear. What a what a day. Yeah, my my landlord wanted to see if if maybe my my smoke detector needed new batteries, but I think the issue is that it um it was it was on the batteries were in it. It was mm -hmm. that it was it was making it was detecting uh, carbon monoxide that wasn't there. Well, more more so than. Did you put did you put new batteries in it when you changed the batteries, or did you put? Did you put old ones, old dead ones? Oh yeah. You gotta put new ones in there. You, you gotta put the like actual. Put yeah, I I did. I, I went into the the garbage, and um, there happened to be. Yeah. There weren't even batteries. They were just sort of like some some battery shaped uh, trash. Well, you put a potato in there because you had yeah. seen those those elementary school. Right. Yeah, I put well. I put some. I put some fries because that fries are kind of shaped like batteries, oh, and they're true, made of yeah. and they're made of potato. Yeah, so I stuck. I stuck those in there, and it seemed to work fine. Man, that would have been embarrassing if the if the fire if these six attractive men had had checked inside my smoke detector and seen that it was full of uh, <laughs> French fries. <laughs> so your fire detector <laughs> is full of French fries. What is That's your problem? Your problem. No, oh, we see this all the time. <laughs> we see this all the time on the force. People think it looks close enough to batteries. People get confused between batteries and french fries. He's just lick them. <laughs> lick the cow happy, so Shocking. they were Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, it was two french fry. It was a french fry, a Cheeto, and a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Jacob, you are down a firefighter. Yeah, for now. Oh, okay. The sixth one is going to be a surprise. Sixth one is you, the viewer. You were the sixth firefighter the whole time. Yeah, it's POV. There's a sixth firefighter at the end of this drawing. Yeah, and then it's a mirror. And hold then it's up, a mirror up to you. And Grover's looking at you proudly, saying, "You did it. You've you've become a firefighter." Oh, this one's kind of like a wild man. Yeah, well, that's why he's doing like the silly, you know. I, I'm I'm holding up your foot with my his, head thing. His uh, nickname is Mad Dog, but he's a real softy. He's a real softy. But he's the one. He'll he'll go he'll go charging in to to save your baby. <laughs> he'll save any baby. Yeah, he this only guy. saves babies. Yeah, only babies. I want to come up with names for all of these he's the baby man. men. Yeah, please do. Worse than the Bye Bye Man. So there, there's Mad Dog. Uh, his his real uh, his his real actual name is um, uh, uh, Doug. Mad Damien Doug. Mad Doug. Star Lord. Damien Star Lord. Why That's you name the... everyone Damien. <laughs> Damien Star Planet. Damien Star Planet is the one kissing me. It's it's a whole Damien squad. Then there's um Damien uh, Star Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more? Uh Damien Yeah. <laughs> uh Star The Last Frontier. Star the Last Frontier? Frontier? Yeah. Uh, can I do one? Yeah. Damien Star versus the Forces of Evil. Yeah. Can I do one? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry. 
I thought I could. But... Sorry, you no, you're drawing them. You can't name them. Yeah, you can't name them. <laughs> okay, just no, do one. Damien start your engines. Ooh. I like that. That's the one with the mustache. That's Damien start your engines. Yeah. D Doug and the Damien's. Damien's star Batman Beyond in 1991. Say that one again. <laughs> what? <laughs> say, say, say that, that one. Uh... Say, just say that one. I, just, I want you. I want you to say that one again. Damien Star. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. Oh wow, that's a gruff one. Oh, this he's been through some stuff. Yeah. This one's definitely Damien Starboard. Are they all named Damien yeah. to you? Yeah. They're all named Damien and and Star is part of their last name. But they're not related. Oh, I guess Damien. I need to make this head go all the way. No, I like that they're sort of like f melding into each other. No, that's not right. <laughs> they're individuals. That's important. Yeah. They've Just because they're all own... named Damien Star something and they're all firemen. Damien Starfish. They're not related. Damien Star you. Damien Star me. Damien Starring Patrick Swayze. This is a bad game. <laughs> I just got to make the line, Nathan's lines a little darker. We're losing the Nathan a bit. I'm sort of becoming one with the Damien's. Yeah, I don't want to lose the Nathan. Got to have a firm Nathan in your drawing. When I teach my draw class on Friday, next Friday, Oh, I'm so excited to learn. That'll be one of the tips. Make sure you got a strong Nathan. Yeah. In your well, you said you work. said firm Nathan. Well, yeah, you start with a firm Nathan, and then it it congeals. Not to be confused with firm Albert. Not to be confused with firm Albert, the NPC from Final Fantasy XIV that I shared with everyone. Damien Star Matt. Star like, Matt. Yeah, like Matt Damon. I think I'm. I think I'm done. Well, you have one more map. You have one more. No, Damien. the, the sixth no, one, six one is you. Oh, yeah, you were. Okay. You were the. There's a Damien right. at the end of this. Let's actually do this. Then. Star Matt, like Matt Damon. That's the full <laughs> name. Damien Star Matt, like Matt Damon, like from the movie where he goes to space. Interstellar. Interstellar. That's not. That's not Matt Damon. <laughs> One of my favorite forms of comedy is saying something wrong and then continuing to compound it with more and more things that are wrong. Yeah. Well, ask yourself next time, what would these six strong firemen think about that type of behavior? They're beautiful. And then do whatever you think they would do, which is usually put out a fire. Usually, or yeah. I guess, I guess usually respond to people being idiots because their <laughs> carbon monoxide detector isn't working and they don't know, and, and they don't know how to, how to the check. carbon monoxide detector. Yeah, really. I guess, yeah. He has one job. It has one job. It has one job. And it messed it up. What time is it? Oh, we got 15 minutes. Nathan can draw again. Nathan, do you want to draw again or do you want I, me to draw? I would, uh... I That's would draw. Good. All right. Stop I would draw share, again. Stop sharing your screen. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I would draw again. If How would we first, rate the quality of my jokes today? I would rate them five Damien stars out of five. Nice. nice. But how many French fries? How many battery fries? It only takes two, baby. 
It takes two. What is Nathan drawing? What am I drawing? What is he drawing? Someone said at least you met the quota. Yeah. That's a low bar. Yeah. You went for a shotgun approach where you just rapid fire said jokes and then some of them are gonna You know what happened is that sometimes I sense that the energy is low. So I just go. My energy's fine. Look at all these firefighters I drew. In hopes that I boost. Do you think I could draw this many firefighters with low energy? That's true. Do you know the amount of energy it takes to draw a single firefighter? That's a, a lot of energy. Yeah. Multiply that by six. Oh my God. Nathan, what you drawing? It's strong I'm just, Nathan. I'm just doodling. I'm drawing my own firm Nathan. Firm Nathan. Well, while I wait for a... Happy koala. Please draw Nathan and smash. Okay. Six. Strong. I guess that's sort Nathan. of what I'm doing. Would this be you if you were in Smash? This is me in Smash. You're really big in Smash. I'm pretty big. Could you imagine, viewers, if you came to a convention and Droppy was doing a show there and Nathan came out and, and this is what he looked like? Could you could you even how would how even would you react? How would you react if you saw Nathan and Nathan was like six five and like enormously shredded? And the, and he'd been that way the whole time. You just didn't know. Yeah. How would you can't you, you can't really tell. Yeah. You can't really tell on the streams. Man, but this is just doing events again. This I is what I look often. like, in my heart. This is what you look like in my heart too. Thank you. In this image, Nathan will carry six firefighters. <laughs> It's a, a bit of a reversal. Yeah. Or maybe it's like in Dragon Ball Z, like the Cell Saga. Mm -hmm. And Nathan is Cell. And when Nathan absorbs all six firefighters. Oh, I'm all of the, the Damians. You become perfect Damian. <laughs> perfect Damian. That's what happens when you select. Nathan. When you select Nathan, <laughs> you select Nathan it says perfect Damian. Perfect Damian. <laughs> This is my Smash Sona perfect Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Planet Fiction Damien, I'm sorry for this stream. <laughs> and how many times we've said Damien. I don't know why I got stuck on Damien. Oh, right, because I was trying to name the dude from Batman. Batman yeah, yeah. You, you went for Damien Lucky Star, which was close. Yeah, to Terry Bradshaw. Mm hmm Terry Bradshaw. Yeah. Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond. Oh, you got the overalls and no shirt look. Yeah, the suspenders. Yeah. This is the Mike Hagar special from Fatal yeah. Fury. Man, that, that image of him suplexing a shark, I thought it was so funny when I saw it the first time. That's one of those time. classic internet images. It's just such a good one, you know? And yeah, it is just two things. But it's, it works. But it's good. But it's good. I'm going to give myself some like real chunky gloves. Oh, I like that. There's a car alarm going off outside. Oh, hell it's yeah. Done. This image really does feel like I'm watching you like reach down to lift me up in one hand. Yeah. Are you master I'm, hand? I'm crazy hand. Are you crazy hand? I'm crazy hand. I feel like they really sort of lost the conceit of master hand when they added in crazy hand. Because now the implication is that one person is just like playing with these toys with two hands, but one of their hands is insane. Yeah. Well, maybe it's like two kids and one of them's wild and one of them's... Yeah, the crazy hand's the younger brother. Oh, yeah. it could be. Jesus Julia! Christ. Are you okay? You guys yeah, are I right? Over, I knocked over the water bottle that Jacob refuses to drink, even though I'm I got it for him right specially. Now. I didn't know you were going to resort to violence if I didn't drink it. <laughs> oh, is this stuck? So I'm I'm all the Damians. Cause you're a uh, oh. I've absorbed them. All of the Damian lucky stars. 
I can't tell if you're a villain or a hero. Should I be scared of you or should I be excited that you're here? I don't know. Maybe a little both. Oh. Oh, a little scared. Yeah, I don't I don't like that so much. Well. Well, I don't like this one so much. Well, the stuff you're doing now makes me less happy with the situation. What are you talking about? I feel like now that our beautiful Damians are in pain. Oh, okay. I can fix that. Oh, you got a really, a really squirt pelvis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just sort of goes right in there. Yeah. Oh. I think you have like no pelvis at all. It just goes torso to leg. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, people in the chat are talking about Vor. They, How they about like we it. talk about vote? Vote in Change your one letter. elections. Go Vor your local elections. Well. 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 Vote with your Vor. No. Vor with your vote. Vor just. Vor just vote. We made. We were so close. <laughs> To finishing the stream without mentioning Vor once. <laughs> Julia couldn't wait. She couldn't do it. What? It was chat. You have the option to ignore chat. <laughs> I wanted to bring it back to voting. I was bringing it to a good place. Okay. Pokemon anyway, everyone... Vor to the polls. <laughs> Stack Underflow said. Everyone go vote if you can and are in America. If you're able. Or if you're it. Kane, go vote. Mm. Julia, mm. it's not, this is, hasn't been your best work. Mm. Vocally. <laughs> <laughs> not your best vocal performance. I'm trying. On this track. I'm trying. Why'd you take off the pop filter on the mic? <sighs> you're trying to pop on people? You're trying to pop off right now? I'm trying to pop off. Oh, so all six of them are there, which means even you, the viewer, yeah. were devoured. This is Julia's best work. That's saying it's, something. It's hard to tell sometimes if it's Julia's best work or worst work. <laughs> it kind of is, it exists on a nebulous space. It's because the the point of, or or I guess the angle of my comedy is to just see how low we can go. Kind of low. Okay, it's like a limbo. I'm like a like Go. very dumb airplane jokes. Um. Yeah. Should I? Is this good? Yeah. I was just I was just sort of stalling until I got a suggestion, but I guess this could be my Smash character. You said this was you in Smash. Yeah. That's what you said. That's true. And then you did this. And I don't think Sakurai is going to approve this. Well, it's I'm like a Kirby. No. I'm sort of like a Kirby. If Kirby had the screaming visage of the people he devoured. Well, they're, ha they're happy, though. Lucy Win F said, my first Patreon Drawfee stream, and it's talking about Vore. I don't know how to feel. It feels fair. It feels good to be part of uh, of the entity. <laughs> that looks like what the Nathan is saying right now as he reaches out. <laughs> it's good to be part of the entity. It feels good to be part of the entity. Welcome. Welcome. The absorption. To perfect Damien. Oh, I'm going to run out of room. It's great to be. The entity. I said it's great to be the entity. I said it's great to be the entity. That's the stuff right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be part of the entity. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Accept assimilation.
this is the future that liberals want. Yeah, I was about to say this, <laughs> this has become a, a weird political poster. There we go. Nice. Yeah. We did it. Do you want to like slap a porf in here and <laughs> we'll stop doing this? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of ease in chat for entity. A lot of people are accepting assimilation right now. And I think that's beautiful. Oh, uh, one of them is a porf. Very good. The sixth Damien was a porf all along. Very good. Thanks everybody for being part of the yeah. Episode. Thank on you. Patreon. You know, again, if you're watching this in the VOD, you know how things went. But if you're watching it live, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. Go vote. Go vote, yep. please. And and even try and convince one other person. One person you know. Young voter there, turnout was at a was at a low last election, and and whoopsie. You, um, so let's change that. There, there's maybe one person in your life that only you can reach, that only would listen to you hand. with your big entity hand. With your You've big part of the entity, reach reach out to them. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're sorry. We're sorry. I'm going to click the button. Click the button. Yeah, you got to take off your headphones. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry.